Good morning, GC. I'm Marlon Brown here with Madison Haley to bring you today's news. December 14th is the next ACT testing day. Be sure to be there by 745 and bring your ticket, calculator, and photo ID. With that in mind, GCHS is offering a free ACT workshops this week. All workshops will begin after school at 315. Today, December 11th, will be, the sci will be science with Mr. Pierce and SD11. Thursday, December 12th, will be English with Ms. Cooper and FF03. Orchestra will be having its Windsor concert Thursday night. This event starts at 6.30 in the Independence Bank Performing Arts Center. Friday night, GCHS choirs will host a winter concert in the Independence Bank Pack. The concert will begin at 6.30. Admission is free. Seniors, this coming Sunday brings the UFL Scholarship and Honors Program application deadline. Make sure you get those done. Then Monday, December 16th, there will be a FAFSA workshop in the GCHS library. It starts at 5 o'clock. These events are excellent opportunity to get help from experts in filling out the FAFSA application. GCHS will offer the, an ACT during school on February 25th. You can take the test at a discounted rate of $42.50. If you are interested, you must sign up with counselors before we leave for Christmas break. Candy Cane Classic is coming up this Saturday, December 14th at 7 p.m. The concert includes performances from our various bands, choirs, orchestras, and drama with a holiday-themed exhibit in the gallery with GCHS students' art. For the theme of Christmas collaborations, guests will enjoy the sounds of familiar holiday tunes with some songs combining more than one of the fine arts. Season event tickets will be honored and all other seating is general admission with tickets available at the door beginning at 6.30. Tickets are $6 for adults and three for students. During the break, Neil Benson recaps last night's sports action. Plus, Dan Walker and company ask, where is Mr. Hausner? This morning at 9.55, school teacher Josh Heisman was reported missing by police in Grays County. There are currently two suspects in custody. The question still remains, where is Mr. Heisman? My name is Dan Walker and I'm a high school detective. Wrong way. I've been asked to help out on a case involving the disappearance of a teacher. That teacher is Mr. Heisman. Police have allowed me to interrogate the two suspects through a completely normal and safe way. Where is she? I, I mean, he. Where is he? I need you to tell me where Mr. Eisner is right now. Probably with Mr. Eisner. What? Well, then you've just confessed to... Case, case. No, because just because I was with him, I mean I've been with him with his disappearance. But no one else was with him. You saying that you were with him means that you were the only person there, which means that you were the one who did it. It was you. You're the one who did it. What? Where is he?
Hey GC, last night our Lady Eagles defeated University Heights Academy in a blowout. Graves County's Rachel Mathis scored 20 points. GC soared to a 55-24 win versus the Lady Blazers. Also last night, our boys hosted the Murray Tigers. Seth Thomas scored 13 points in a valiant effort against the Tigers. It wasn't enough as we fell at home 57-37. That's all for today's Eagle Sports. For GCTV, I'm Neil Benson. That's all for today's news. For GCTV, I'm Madison Haley. And I'm Madeline Brown. Have a great day, GC. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.